I, I think the top priority is to have a full-fledged assistance to be sure that we, are, we have all evidence for these war crimes. So this is why we focused ourselves by this cooperation with um, experts, policemen, judges, and so on. This is the first step because we have to, uh, to bring evidence and to build these cases and to prepare justice. Second point, we, we need um, a credible international organization to do so. This is all the debates we have on the International Court of Justice, international jurisdiction uh, uh, backed on Ukrainian justice. And we know all these debates and we had very good uh, uh, exchange with President Zelensky on this issue. And uh, we will, uh, I think, build up something credible and tangible. Third, timing issue. And, and this is where I want to be uh, um, very transparent and honest with you. The question is, if in a few months to come, you have a window for a negotiation with the existing Russian political power, the question will, will be an arbitrage between a trial or a negotiation. I will be very frank with you. And you will have to negotiate with the leaders you have, de facto. Even if the day after, you will have to judge them in front of the international justice. So this is a question of articulation. Because otherwise, you can put yourself just in an impossible situation where you say, I want you to go to jail, but you are the only one I can negotiate with. As for um, membership uh, to NATO, I think we, we, this debate, we will have, uh, we will have it in, uh, in Vilnius. And this is exactly what we will discuss with Chancellor Schultz next week and uh, some of our players. I think we have to build something between the security provided to Israel and a full-fledged membership. I'm not sure we will have a consensus for a Vilnius summit for a full-fledged membership, let's be clear. I think we need strong and concrete and tangible security guarantees. So no way for having a, a sort of Budapest package, doesn't make sense. I mean, we had, we know it's not bulletproof. I think it's not sufficient to have a sort of Israel type package. We need something much more substantial and we need a pass towards at least this membership. So something concrete, substantial, for the two reasons I mentioned. De facto Ukraine is protecting us and de facto Ukraine is so well equipped that we have to re them in a, a, in sort of security framework.